Peace, love, and light, Pisces. I hope the sun is shining wherever you are and you're living in your greatest purpose. Pisces, thank you for all your likes, comments, shares, and subscribes. We are on the road to 10K. Thank you for your support in getting there. Personal readings are being offered at this time. All information can be found in the community tab as well as the description box. Let's get into your messages. Pisces, I hope the sun is shining wherever you are and you are being the high priestess that you are. Uh, you're being reminded that you're this high priestess. Mm. Nine of Wands, maybe you worried. Although I don't see how you can be worried being this high priestess energy. Um, I'm hearing something about some I'm hearing something about some algorithm. <laughs> very strong, very strong energy. Uh, your spirit guides want you to know that for whoever this message is for, that you're beating some algorithm. Let's see what your spirit guides want you to know about that. Um, messages for Pisces. Tell us more about this message. You're beating some algorithm. Hmm. Eight of Wands. Maybe significant. The Queen of Cups. Hmm. So, hmm. introspection, intuition. This is you appearing in this Queen of Cups energy. Some of you may have been thinking about something for quite some time. Perhaps that's why the Nine of Swords is here. You were probably thinking of how, like, for a while you've been thinking about You could have been thinking about how to outwit something, how to, and again, the message I'm hearing is like you beat some kind of like algorithm. Eight of Wands is significant. This is, uh, this is energy. So there's, uh, this Eight of Wands may appear here, uh, to remind you of the role that your energy is playing or some energy that you're putting in that's uh that's playing into like beating some algorithm the justice card is also showing up six of cups may have to deal with like your gifts your spiritual gifts so you may be showing more of your spiritual gift I'm also seeing that like you're you you may be showing different sides to you different sides um different sides of your gift <laughs> like for example like if some of you have shown you know whatever it is that you're doing creatively because the eight of wands is here I'm seeing it has to do with your creativity whatever you're doing creatively for example you may have you may have been showing that side of you that has to deal with like being nurturing because I'm seeing a lot of cups energy here. The queen of cups. There's a different side to you. Perhaps you, you hadn't shown. Okay. Um, and it's like you're showing, you're showing a different side of, of you. You're showing a different gift that a lot of people may not have known you had or you weren't showing this gift until now. Hmm. Very significant. There's a gift that you may be showing that you weren't showing before. It's it's um it's something that's like surfacing. It's something that's showing up. See, you're showing up in this death and rebirth card because you showing this new side of you. It's almost like you giving birth to a new side of you and it's also it's also kind of like putting you in an it's putting you it's giving you a competitive edge i'm seeing that it's almost like you're reinventing yourself you you're becoming it's like you're showing up as two people when you're one you're showing up in a different energy because you're sharing your gift it's it, it's almost like that death part of the death and rebirth could also be that you giving birth to 
this new gift and I'm not seeing that it's something that's necessarily new that you just developed it's just that you're showing that you you've had it you've always had it and people are also gonna see this you showing this new side of you it's also it's also like releasing this image of you just being this one thing one person and this is also part of like I'm seeing the, uh, this is part of how you're going to be able to show up show out and beat this algorithm whatever algorithm this is this may have to deal with work or again your creativity um it's like you beating something against all odds and you're gonna be able to walk away in your truth and also protected uh with your spirituality intact for many of you, this Empress means that um, part of what you're also going to receive out of this like new you that's showing up is um, hmm, you're producing something creative that's going to change the world is what I'm hearing. Whatever you're producing, your spirit guides want you to know that you're changing the world and like seriously changing the world. Hmm. it's putting an end to something it's putting an end okay so this ten of swords um having to do having to do with like major communication energy also has to deal with like major endings i'm seeing that whatever you're doing it's putting an end to a certain way of thinking it's putting an end to something and most importantly like with this ending is going to be a rebirth it's going to be a rebirth of some sort and this rebirth has to deal with like information that you're revealing to the world that many may not have known they weren't privy to okay so it's like you're creating major changes here um i was receiving something about like an algorithm uh, previously let's see hmm. um, okay my attention is being drawn to this uh, this is very significant this eight of cups is about you walking in your truth walking in your truth and walking towards your truth and this is going to confirm oh okay I'm hearing that whatever it is that you're doing that's also beating some algorithm is going to confirm that you are the truth. There's someone specifically that's actually looking at you in this King of Swords energy that sees that you're the truth. This is a Libra, Gemini or Aquarius. This may be someone of that uh, particular sign. Or it may also be someone who may not necessarily be that sign and that, that's in the queen that's okay king or queen of swords I'm seeing um, this is someone who's 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 been through some things who ha, uh, have experienced some things that this is not someone who's naive this is someone who's calculating this is someone who calculates for a very specific reason someone who plans someone who strategizes someone who you're showing up in this energy so the fact that you're showing up as someone that's beating some algorithm may be that you had to be in this kind of energy for you to find this truth and for you to walk in this truth as this king of swords or queen of swords i'm seeing this applies to possibly a div either a divine mm -hmm, a divine masculine or a divine feminine this is really creating paths your spirit guides want you to know whatever you're doing it's creating paths for yourself first and foremost because you're moving towards your truth and it's creating paths for others like you're the reason why <laughs> i'm hearing you're the reason why the grass is greener on the other side if you didn't know okay the spirit guides want you to know that if you didn't know this, if it never dawned on you why the grass is greener on the other side, your guides are letting you know that you are the reason why. 
you're the reason why people move from one place to another you your energy is showing up is very powerful like first the uh high priestess and then the queen of swords so you may be someone who is of major influence you may actually be considered an influencer and i'm really seeing a lot more to you than this like people move because of you because you're that grass that's greener like they they want to experience what you what you share what you have they actually wait for you and they anticipate you this is this is you uh living in your truth okay this is you living in your truth this is how powerful you are living in your truth um you're also showing up as this empress here uh changing worlds changing uh dynamics changing the way people perceive the world as well uh let's see queen of queen of cups let's get more information now do you know why your spirit guides are saying that you're beating some algorithm algorithm okay uh tell me about this queen of cups 11 may be significant for many of you see that um part of what you're doing is like you're see because you're this grass that's greener on the other side what you're doing is that people who are afraid of moving you're actually causing major moves you're you're causing you're like the cause of like them making major moves so again your influence is limitless see this may have to do with your with your work with your project or uh your spirit guides are saying this has to do with something um i'm, I'm saying this is your workplace or people that work with you or want to work with you perhaps this is why they're saying that the grass is greener on the other side there are people that actually want to work with you Mm. and i'm seeing that this queen of cups is in reverse so people those who appear as like uncertain unsure of who they are um you provide that example this is a, again uh it's almost like whatever it is it's like whatever these folks that are showing up in your energy whatever they want to be you appear to be that person that they look to to be this like you're a, mm, okay it's a lot of beautiful energy showing up for you it's like a anyone who feels blocked who feels that they're needing their strength they're needing to revamp their energy revamp their power here you are here you are like you are power you are willpower and i'm also seeing with this four swords there's someone very very particular that's thinking about you in this energy revelation they've had an they've had a revelation this may actually be this may be officially a co-worker that you work with in your workplace or someone that wants to really work with you could be an earth sign taurus virgo capricorn that's showing up in in your energy um there may be or possibly a sagittarius uh i'm seeing some fire energy in there as well definitely fire energy um, tell me about the four of swords. Mm -hmm. Death and rebirth is absolutely significant. You're, you're revamping, reinventing. Hmm. You're also helping people in some way to make uh, financially sound decisions not sure what you do with it's not showing up but there's something about um people's economic uh endeavor their well-being like you bring you help bring clarity that also helps uh helps people with their finances uh or or it's just like you're appearing to be an energy that's helping them to get more money you um you help them with their confidence there may be a very specific group that you help with the confidence. I'm also seeing that you help bring families together in some way, or, or this may be an indication of you helping others to manifest, uh, you know, financial abundance, financial wealth, because you, you, whatever you reveal something, you bring clarity. This is why this, um, this is why this Ace of Swords is here because you bring clarity 
in spaces where there is none. Tell me about this justice card. Ooh. Some of you are getting justice with a knot of wands. Okay. So this is someone that showed up in your energy. They may have been in quick and out quick too. This may be someone who's like, who's got some like, you know, yeah, this person's at a loss. They feel at a loss. They lost. <laughs> they lost you. They lost a potential soulmate is what I'm hearing. They lost the opportunity to be with you. Um... This may be someone who's very, uh, you may not have known this or this, this, this may be relevant for some and not others. This, this is showing up as for some of you, this is showing up as someone who may have been like sexually promiscuous. They have, you know, some of you, they, this person may even have children, you know, outside of your known circumstance with them. Mm hmm. Someone showing up. And your spirit gods are, are also letting you know to be patient because there is a king of cups showing up in your energy. Ah, that's your justice. Your justice that you're getting with this person who may be a fire sign. It may or may not be a fire sign. I'm seeing a strong Sagittarius energy. For some, it may be a, um, a water sign. Or maybe perhaps this is you that's showing up in the five of cups. Uh, in a sense that this person feels at a loss with you, not you losing them. So this Nine of Wands may actually be a different sign. It may not be a fire sign. It may actually be an air sign that you're getting justice with. Uh, someone who appeared in the Nine of Wands energy. They weren't there to stay long. And they knew it. This person knew it. Whoever it is or... Uh, uh, someone who's showing up knew this and the justice that you're getting for many of you is you're finding someone you're finding your person and your person I'm um, I'm seeing they are going to feel like you're that grass you're that grass this person may have gone through similar experiences that like you did so it's like there's at some level you're going to feel like you relate to this person. Um, hmm. Someone. Tell me about the sun. Now the sun appearing with the empress energy. It could mean also hmm, king of wands. Okay. For some, there may be a king of wands in question. This may be that same fire sign. Uh, or it could be that you're showing up in this king of wands energy. Uh, you're the one that's inspiring someone to move toward you. You may not even know it. You may not be doing it intentionally. Uh, I'm seeing you may be inspiring more than one person. You may you you're also inspiring others to be loyal towards you. Uh, to be you're inspiring others to be optimistic. Yeah, this this whoever this person is sh that's showing up in your energy that you're getting justice with. Uh, yeah, be cautious. This person may try to come towards you to to ask uh, or to offer something some energy that see the eight of wands they're they're coming towards you to offer something what do they have to offer okay that's the question of the day they're coming towards you to offer something and i'm getting this energy that many of you are going to be like well what what can they possibly offer that they think that i would want or uh i would what reason would I want to engage with them? Hmm. Someone's willing to, you know, really fight for some connection at this point. Possibly even maybe willing to, you know, give up their ways, give up something. They're, they're definitely, someone's crushed. They're feeling crushed. <laughs> Uh, and I'm also seeing they also <laughs> they have a crush on you. They someone's watching. Um, hmm. 
tell me about this empress i'm seeing this empress uh is in this star energy like you're healing you're rejuvenating possibly from a past connection that's showing up in this three of swords energy uh, and i'm not seeing that you're ex accepting any bs uh someone wants to kind of come towards you very quick mm. anything else yeah i wouldn't trust it seven of swords Okay, let's see what your spirit guides have to say about this. Oh, look at that. Ooh, oh, at the same time. All right, so this person's lust is a means for your self-sabotage. That's what I'm hearing. Be cautious. Okay, be cautious. 2426. Yeah, be cautious. That is your message. If this message resonates, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Until next time, love, peace, and divine light.